Good afternoon, everyone. We are interrupting programming once again with a breaking news alert. Congressman Chris Collins, who represents the 27th district here in Western New York, has resigned his office. We just got email confirmation a couple of moments ago from the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. I'll read you part of this email. It says we are in receipt of a letter of resignation. It will be laid down on the House floor tomorrow during pro forma. That means a very short session. Remember, lawmakers are on a recess right now on a vacation. Uh, the email says resignation will be effective at that time, meaning tomorrow. So Congressman Chris Collins resigning from office, according to the Speaker of the House. Of course, this comes just a couple of hours after we learned that Congressman Collins will appear in federal court in New York City tomorrow to change his plea. As you know, he has been charged with multiple counts of uh, fraud and conspiracy and lying to the FBI. He had maintained his innocence all along. However, he was scheduled to be in a federal court tomorrow to change at least one of those guilty pleas to a guilty plea. Let's bring in Channel 2's Dave McKinley, who's been on this story today, mm -hmm. uh, a story that has just continued to evolve throughout the day, Dave. So this morning we learned about this court appearance tomorrow. Right. In anticipation of that, the congressman will resign. Right. And this was uh, came out, uh, if you looked at court documents or court dockets where they you could go online and you could kind of see what's going on with a case and you just check it. And this morning, a very cryptic reference yeah. in there to saying the, a, a hearing for tomorrow for a change in plea. Now we know that Collins and his co-defendants pled not guilty to the mm -hmm. charges against them. So any change in plea would presumably be a guilty plea. However, as you pointed out, Mike, there were 13 counts originally against uh, Collins. They got down to 10 due to a judge's recent ruling in the Justice Department's filing a superseding indictment, which actually kind of took the legs out of Collins's defense. So we can get into more on that in a moment, but if, if you wish. Uh, but uh, so there are 10 counts. They involved alleged insider trading and lying to the FBI. We don't know which, if any, or all of those counts that Mr. Collins has apparently prepared to plead guilty to. Mm -hmm. And also his two co-defendants, his son Cameron, and also Steven Zarsky, the father of the woman that Cameron was engaged to, uh, maybe married to, I'm not sure if the, if the nuptials went through, also had requested a hearing about a change in their plea. Again, we don't know if there is going to be a plea of guilty to which counts, how many of them, uh, are they the most serious ones? And what, if any deal was made, uh, might be behind As part this. of that. Yeah. So uh, certainly the speculation now intensifies that at least Congressman Collins will plead guilty to at least one of those counts, considering he is now resigning his seat in Congress. But you make a good point. We don't know the specifics of what's going to happen in court tomorrow. We've reached out to Congressman Collins' congressional office, his campaign, uh, also just some other people uh, around him. And the kind of attorneys waiting for involved with all three defendants to see if they'd shed any light on this. Uh, so far, none of them have said anything definitively in terms of are they going to plead guilty and to which counts might they plead? So one of the things we've been looking into all day long in anticipation of this was what will happen next as far as who will represent the 27th district. Mm -hmm. We are uh, right now on the phone with the governor's office who will be involved in all of this. Um, when you talk about someone, will there be a special election? Will this go up, um, you know, come 2020? What's going to happen? So a lot of moving parts to that. And I think one of the headlines important for our viewers watching right now, if you live in the 27th district, Come tomorrow, uh, you will not have a representative in Congress. Right. Uh, well, there there are people down in the uh, 61st, uh, 60th Senate District, I believe, where Kathy Young resigned, mm -hmm. that don't have a representative this happens, in yeah. the New York State Senate. And the governor, we asked him quite some time ago about what he planned to do about that. And the answer, the short answer, probably nothing. He doesn't need another Republican on the State Senate. He mm -hmm. just let that slide. Uh, Until but, the next election. Yeah. Uh, but so, so uh, we've also reached out, we should tell our viewers, Michael, that we have have uh, reached out to all of those who have announced their intent to run uh, as Republicans. This would be Chris Jacob, Rob Ort, and uh, uh, Kathy Parlato. Mm -hmm. uh, and so far, uh, we've only heard back from Ort's office, and it was uh, no response at all. Basically, they said they wanted to wait until things become official. Yeah. We'll see if that changes now that the Speaker's office has made it official that yeah. Chris Collins has resigned. It won't be effective until tomorrow, but he has already submitted a resignation letter to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. The other big name in all of this, of course, is David Bellavia, the Medal of Honor recipient. A lot of speculation.
speculation as to whether or not he's going to jump into this race now that Chris Collins won't be running, obviously. What do you make of that? Well, that was something that we didn't expect to hear from David Bellavia either way until later in the year, yeah. uh, no matter what happened with Chris Collins. And I had sources indicating that something would happen with Chris Collins in October in terms of his court case and a possible uh, plea or resolution to that court case. Now, uh, here it is. I was a little surprised because it's September 30th today, not <laughs> October. But uh, we do have him scheduled to be in court tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. in New York City. So I guess that would be in October. Yeah, uh, October 1st. Yeah, so um, there we go. Uh, late breaking developments all along. And it's going to be interesting to see, Michael, if we could ever determine it, it, should he plead, uh, Collins, I mean, plead guilty to certain counts depending on which ones and what the ultimate sentence would be. Uh, if there was a deal, what prompted it? Because he has been steadfast, or at least publicly, he's put on this game face saying he's innocent of all charges. And that he would not take a plea Would deal. not take a plea deal, no plans to do that at all. Uh, but you've got to wonder what was it that finally made him say, uh, okay, I'll take this plea bargain, I'll take this deal, I'll change my plea to whatever it is. And we're getting a little ahead of ourselves saying a deal has been made, but they generally, uh, people who are charged with crimes, if they say they're innocent, don't all of a sudden one day wake up and say, you know what, uh, I'm yeah, guilty I, to I, everything. I, I, I did it, I, I'm gonna plead guilty without some sort of consideration. Yeah. And what could that be? His right. son is charged, which yeah. of course is a lot of the speculation out that there. What will this mean for Cameron Collins? And also, but one thing we've seen already, because there was a lot of speculation about, okay, would it hinge on him getting out of Congress? Well, today he resigned his seat. Now, yeah. officially, obviously the two are related, yeah. but was that part of uh, any kind of offer that was made? And again, we've reached out to the attorneys representing all three defendants. We've only heard from the attorney representing Steven Zarsky. He thanked us for comment, uh, contacting him rather, but said no comment, no comment at this time. <laughs> Just a quick recap, uh, confirmation from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office that Chris Collins has submitted his letter of resignation. He will resign from the U.S. House of Representatives. It will be effective tomorrow when this is laid down on the House floor, tomorrow when Chris Collins is scheduled to appear in federal court in Manhattan. Continuing coverage on this breaking story right now on our website, free mobile app, and of course on social media. If we have more news, we'll break back into programming. Otherwise, we'll see you at 4 o'clock for Most Buffalo. Have a good afternoon, everybody.